Hi. Hey, what's under there? Welcome to Mocha Create at Home. My name is Taylor and I'm an educator at Mocha and this is my cat, Rue. If this is your first time joining us today, welcome! And if you've been with us before, welcome back! During Mocha Create at Home, we learn about Mocha, what we collect and teach at the museum, learn about our collections, and we make some art together. Today, we'll be talking about a special friend of the museum, Maya Lin. We'll talk about her life and some of the public art that she created and designed. We'll especially be talking and thinking about her earthwork, and we'll even get a chance to design and create some of our own. Maya Lynn was born on October 5th, 1959 in Athens, Ohio. Her mother was a poet, her father was a potter, and she had one older brother. Growing up, Maya loved animals, nature, and reading, and she made really good grades in school. After high school, Maya went to Yale, where she studied architecture and sculpture. When she entered college, she knew that she was good at math and science, but during her time at Yale, she discovered that at her core, she was an artist. In 1981, when Maya was just 21 and still a student at Yale, her design for the Vietnam War Memorial, which originally started as a school project, won a competition and was selected to be constructed in Washington, D.C. This was a huge deal and caused quite a stir, partly because her design was a new type of memorial. Maya did something totally different. What do you notice about her design? What is it made of? What details do you notice? What shapes do you see? After the initial controversy passed and the monument was built, People saw and understood that the memorial allowed visitors to reflect and pay their respects to the lives lost during the Vietnam War. After designing the Vietnam War Memorial, Maya generally moved away from designing memorials and buildings. One building she did design is our museum, the Museum of Chinese in America. That's why we consider her to be a special friend of the museum. Memorials are just one type of public art. And today, even though she doesn't often create memorials, Maya still makes a lot of public art that focuses on combining nature, art, and science. Her newest works are focused on climate change, like Ghost Forest, which you can see in Madison Square Park until November 14th, 2021. If you'd like to learn more about Maya Lin, you can check out our Mocha Heroes digital magazine all about her. It goes into much more detail about her life, inspirations, designs, and artwork, and it includes a lot of fun activities and facts. Today, we're really going to focus on and think about Maya's earthwork. When you look at Maya's earthwork, what do you notice? What shapes and lines do you see? Can you follow the shapes and lines with your finger? What are they made of? How do you think she created these? Maya's earthwork is often based around science. For her Wavefield series, she spent a long time studying scientific data about waves, how they started, stopped, and how they affected each other. When creating an earthwork, Maya first draws her design, then she makes a 3D model, usually using cardboard, cardstock, wood, or clay. Finally, after making several models, more and more detailed each time, bulldozers come to the site and sculpt the land. Maya even carefully selects a blend of soil and grass seed that will fit in with the natural environment around her sculptures and won't hurt the plant and animal life there. To start off, I want you to draw a design of your very own earthwork. For my design, I chose this. I tried to sort of incorporate some of the different lines and shapes and elements that I found in Maya's work, like a mound, but also some waves. And then she also has some earthwork pieces that are just sort of more almost random looking lines. So I wanted to include that as well. Next, we're going to create our model. Today, we're going to be using paper, 
and cardboard or other recyclables as a base or as the soil and then fabric as a covering or you can imagine it like the grass of our earthwork. Look at your design. What shapes and lines do you have and what recyclables could best create those shapes? For my earthwork design, I thought the easiest place to start would be with the center where I have more of a circle or a mound. Um, now for that, I thought that something like a recycling container would work best. For the rest of my shapes and lines, there are a lot of wavy, swirly, squiggly lines. So I think it's going to probably be pretty difficult to use any type of plastic or anything really hard that I can't turn into those wavy shapes. But I do have one thing that I thought might work. Um, I have this giant plastic water bottle that I did manage to change into a rounded shape. I also just went ahead and grabbed literally my whole bag of paper recycling and paper, recycled paper, is mostly what I'm gonna be using for the rest of my design. So now that I have a few basic supplies to use for my design, I'm gonna just go ahead and work on it. saying is like the grass if we imagine covering it like Maya does with her earthwork and oh if I don't mess it up too much I want to test that out now just sort of work on adjusting my fabric a little bit to really sort of get in to these different spaces in between my sculpture and between my recycled paper and, and stuff. I'm actually really pretty happy with how the top part of my design turned out but the one thing that really wasn't successful was my much skinnier line over here. I thought the paper balls technique was really successful, so I'm gonna just add a few more of those. some more magazine paper and I just taped those together to really get them to hold the shape. Like I did actually end up getting a pretty good curly Q shape here. Don't forget to take a picture. This type of artwork isn't really something that you can pick up, move, take with you, or save for a long time. Just like Maya Lin's actual earthwork, you have to see and experience it in person. If you're feeling really inspired, the next time you go to the park or the beach or maybe even your own backyard, you can test out making your own earthwork on a miniature scale using sand or soil. I went to the beach this week and I decided to test out my own earthwork design with sand. I started by drawing my design with my finger, and then I built up those lines by removing the sand in between them. I made my shapes taller by holding some sand in my hand and sort of just sprinkling it as I followed along 
the shapes that I had made. Using sand, it made me think about what it must be like for Maya Lin when she's creating her actual earthworks. Thanks so much for joining me and Rue and Gravy today for Mocha Create at Home. We had such a great time learning all about Maya Lin and her earthwork. We'd love to see and hear about what you created. Thanks again, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.